Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia Cars. And the car I have behind me today is Hyundai Granger. Hyundai fans out there, you probably recognize this car with the name of Azera. Granger is the domestic name here in Korea, and that is the Azera for North American market. It's been six years already. Finally got a full change. So let me show you up close in terms of the exterior and also the interior. This is the Serenity White pearl and well since the turn signal is on i want to zoom in on this and wow they actually print it out right here it says seamless horizon colors here is really gradual and i know it's flickering a lot gopro please pardon me with that it's indoors so the turn signal and also this drl light is connected all throughout starting from that way all the way from the bonnet and onto the other side this one whole bar the drl light is a one whole piece all together yes i know the costs for this um high technology and latest technology it's always expensive i'm talking about the digital side mirrors and so on and so on but this is um inevitable i mean i'd rather have a beautiful piece of technology and technique behind my car than have to worry about the price of the repair and so on i know this goes on and on but any time any moment i would definitely have this latest technology on my car and all the models that we have here today has the calligraphy trim and the difference is well first of all it starts off with a different grille it has the titan look chrome which makes it look wider than a normal version hence this gigantic gigantic front bumper look there is a lot of saying making the comparison to this to that of the staria yes they look alike they resemble one another however that is not necessarily a design that hyundai pursues from now on this most likely is a design shift they're in between the transitions of their settling their design language and just like what Hyundai has proposed on other cars chess look instead of coming up with the family look which means each of the player they may look very different but when put all together we all know that it composes a chess all together so that's what this Hyundai look is about and this fine detail that Granger has paid attention to. It has the texture to it. All this little fine detail put together compose the front look of Granger altogether. Once again, this is the look I love the most. And yes, I did not go through about one of the important things here. Judging by the reflection, this looks like the low beam and that looks like the high beam. But there are two headlights and one underneath. The third one, that's actually blank and some other sensors for the HDA, the radar and cameras sensors and another camera up on the front over there that is actually the preview suspension system not only the Granger but utilizes the camera right there and also the navigation system on board to predict and preview the road in front of it so the ECS electronically controlled suspension right here actually makes the adjustment accordingly to provide the best ride quality possible this is also finished in chrome like once again something different as well as these ones underneath unfortunately I don't have that trim right here trim I'm looking for is Granger black ink and I really like the name that they have come up with because black ink Literally, they blacked out the whole car, and that's including the emblem, also the lettering on the back, Granger. All those parts are blacked out, and that's including the wheels as well. That car is not on the display here, unfortunately, but there's one another in studio. If I get the chance, I'll actually go and also cover that car as well. Honestly speaking, I'm not so sure about the hype around this car because I know this car is not sold elsewhere. Granger is limited to domestic markets. Let me know in the comment below if you're curious about it. A few more things, let's go, and I'll show you more up close about the exterior. But honestly, this car is really about the interior. Let's go. Just check out the profile of this car. All the numbers I give you here is compared to that of the predecessor, of course. It's got longer by 45 millimeters, totaling up to 5,035 millimeters in total. And also the wheelbase, the length from the first wheel to the second wheel or front and rear, it's got longer by 10 millimeters. And honestly speaking, yes, 10 millimeters is not that big of a number, but it sure does make a difference. If you go inside and check out how roomy it 
Swedish, you'll definitely feel the difference. Rear overhang is longer by 50 millimeters. We didn't have this on a predecessor whatsoever. What does that do? Well, it's mostly in the trunk, but I'm looking for the trunk button. Guess where that is? There's nothing on here. There's nothing in between the license plates, you see? So this is actually hidden right here. Even so, it's really, really hard to tell and pinpoint where the trunk button is. But it's right here, one of the top. This tech was actually introduced about three years back at Hyundai R&D Auto Show that I have attended. Oh, they definitely have come up with a far better upgrade on that because, well, this is of course the trunk, the trunk, the trunk, but this is the button, but it's really, really seamless. You won't really be able to tell the difference. I'm looking at the paint work as well. The paint work is also immaculate, but when you actually press it and touch it, it's kind of a soft, I can feel kind of a that silicon thing to it because the early versions, it had like a plastic texture to it, but that's not it. So Hyundai, I can definitely see that they're constantly upgrading this portion right here. The latest emblem that was introduced on Hyundai Ioniq 6, also the same thing on Granger. One more thing, if you get the black ink model, this is blacked out, automated trunk, trunk compartment is really massive so that extra wheelbase and length that Granger has got it's contributed honestly speaking not so much it's not 100% allocated to the trunk but but it's actually the interior. The interior is all about this upgrade about the Granger. We can see there is a ski through right there. Sound absorbance everywhere, quiet, comfortable. And no wonder why this is the best selling car here in Korea. And this car, the legacy has been continued for over 36 years. This is the first generation that I am showing you right now. And this is the Heritage Series Granger that's been electrified. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so a lot of people were really hyped about this car. So this car right here that you see is the first generation. Once again, not the internal combustion engine, but that has been fully electrified. And this is one-off car. So unfortunately, this is not going to be on a for sale. But the reason why I'm showing you is because there's a lot of homage as well as the heritage put behind this GN7, the latest Granger. And that's all about also the exterior, but interior. Year. I want to really show you the interior right here. There we go. The steering wheel spoke. This is what's really crazy about this car and I'll show you all about it right now. And you see, please pardon me, I'm jumping around because I'm not the only one here at the studio, of course, covering the cars. What do you think about the first gen Ranger, by the way? If it wasn't that car, there has been no flagship of Hyundai and here it is, that's what we have. I really want to show you the driver's seat once uh, the seat becomes available. Right, let's, let's get in, I think it is now, so let's go. All right, so let's hop in the Serenity White Pearl. Once again, I think it's more visible here, so it says Granger, same thing. Just put your hand in and of course yes i really have to mention this before i get in this frameless window honestly speaking it's not the first time that granger got the frameless window a couple generations back this was also available however we're talking about a whole new different level of technology put here well not only does it go super smoothly like that just look at this this is also double pane, dual pressed window. It's not just a driver's seat, but it's included on all sides. I'm talking about the front windshield, this driver's seat, passenger seat, and also this C pillar, D quarter glass, the quarter glass on the C pillar as well, the rear window as well. So they are really serious about NVH noise vibration and harshness on this Granger. And one more thing, there it is. Just look at that, oh my God. The side mirror now has been moved up, moved down to the door. This is the flag type side mirror that we saw on Genesis brands and Granger being the flagship, Granger got it too. And why the flag type? Not only does that make the car look fancy, but it also allows to have extra window right up on the front, extra visibility. You may not think that is a big difference, but it sure does make a big difference when you're actually inside and driving. Because once when the mirrors were here, this part was completely blind. So that is the extra blind spot that you had. But having the mirror down on the door now, you can actually have that tiny spot. And being able to see through that tiny spot 
spot, you'll be able to see children, kids, pets, cats and dogs running around in front of your next to your driveway and you can actually prevent an accident. God forbid, but you could actually prevent an accident from happening. Once again, going back to the NVH noise vibration and harshness, this is 60 millimeters thick glass and that is ultra thick and that is how serious Hyundai is about when it comes to the noise and making this grandeur the luxury the high end and also the flagship car that are from my Hyundai ah, just look at this the, this luxurious elegant look to it and right here is the piano black high gloss that we've been seeing throughout here and there well it's not gonna be smudge free but Hyundai is putting a lot of work and effort of upgrading this and they're actually getting better and better so relatively the smudge will go away easier on the latest versions and this is something that I've been really wanting to point out the design cue and language this is actually seen and found throughout the videos so there is this um accent and point but this design is also found on the steering wheel and also look at this even the headrest so this is something that I wanted to point out from the moment I saw the pictures but it's even more prominent when seeing the car in person if we see that grandeur the seats nothing you know rocket science nothing out of the ordinary however there is one thing about this rugs carpets used here is definitely a lot more thicker than the ones that we are used to seeing from Hyundai and that's not by mistake actually this is also designed to prevent and absorb extra noise coming into the cabin that being said even the tire that's used on Granger Pirelli but this also has a sound absorbance inside the tire to provide the maximum drive quality as well as to cancel and prevent the noise coming in speaking of the noise cancellation now we see there are speakers on the second row seat as well so they are gathering the noise level here and there and they shoot out the anti-frequency to cancel the noise within the cabin hence further enhancing the NVH let's really get into the driver's seat so now I am inside a driver's seat of grandeur and I want to show you the steering wheel up close so I am currently on the wide mode so it may be distorted just a little bit so do keep that in mind this is the one spoke wheel I thought that was the homage to that of the first generation grandeur but just looking closely right here so it actually is connected all throughout the steering wheel column and as well as this uh, main portion the airbag of course there is one gigantic spoke right here that's connected with the 50% of the bottom of the steering wheel Hyundai kind of made it look like a one spoke wheel because that's once again the heritage and homage to the first gen but it actually is a three spoke wheel with more of a you know vertical design to it and left and right as well this actually feels more like a regular and conventional steering wheel as well the grip is firm and sturdy I think it's just the right perfect size for its class and this being a saloon and sedan so I kind of like that this color combination and the layout well, there's a lot of color mixtures here just on the steering wheel column alone but I think it's actually the mix of the whole colors used within the cabin you see black silver the 10 the caramel and also this white interior and of course the silvers too I really love the steering wheel on this one let me show you the key fob as well have you seen it somewhere <laughs> yes this is the key fob that we saw from Hyundai Ioniq 6 of course with a different color here and the light I've mentioned this on Ioniq 6 as well but this is super light I don't know what they have done but this is really light so it feels the same it's exactly the same key as the Ioniq 6s so unlock Lock, lock, unlock, and let's actually turn the batteries on. So that is the UI. The GUI on Granger has been completely changed, and I haven't practiced it before. So just you, or I'm doing it for the first time as well. But just look how easily I navigate through things. These physical buttons that we use frequently are still there. It's the good old home, map, search media. So it's all here. So going to the setup, it's almost the same thing. But the GUI here has got a complete makeover. But once we get used to that, I think we'll get it into a very, very... Oh, just look at this. There is a wash mode? 
so this you can control if you want if you want to have it folded and whatnot so there you can select the options that you want to do when you're actually going to a auto car wash and i guess so vehicle diagnosis um so you, i actually need to activate the blue link but one thing i ha have actually noticed is i think press hold and just look at this ah oh, look at that now you can customize and move this around so you could actually have the first page of your frequently used um, inventories, I guess. Granger also comes with the OTA. Most of the software upgrades and stuff like this, it will be up to date without you having to visit the body shop and workshops. I guess I'm starting off with the Granger. We'll be seeing more of that in future other Hyundai cars. The steering wheel, but there is the drive mode here. And watch what happens over here. Maybe I should have the light off. Look at that. Eco, normal, sport, and my drive. So that is something that we have seen on Ionic 6. Of course, they don't call this um, digital pixel lights. That's uh, uniquely Ionic. If you use the voice work, and this also interacts with the voice recognition system so that we know directly that the car has understood you and so on. The lights and so on, we've seen it on. This is very friendly if you've been driving a Hyundai, but so it's not a complete makeover. However, there definitely is a difference. And these two main displays right here, that it's not actually connected it's uh, broken in the middle like uh, most of the other Hyundai Motor Group cars thus far it's actually composed of 12.3 monitors but you are probably wondering why I'm not covering that right there that is a 10.25 inch monitor that actually integrated many physical buttons that were on the car I'm talking about the AC you can have the auto hold here oh and it also has the haptic feedback so you know that you've touched the button turn it off and on so the button here changes there is a simple theme and custom theme so going to the theme you can actually have the ac on like so so it's all self-explanatory because the buttons change accordingly this is the first time ever i've seen this so i think uh, i'm going to need some time to get used to but the auto hold the parking alarm system and also the parking cam see Touch the parking cam, the parking cam comes up right here. The surround view monitor as well. So right here, one in the back, surround view like so. So it's got the graphics on, just look at that. So we've seen it uh, on other Hyundai cars as well. Just, you know, pull it around like so. There is the heated steering wheel, AC's on. And yes, <laughs> this being the test driver for here, everybody has the turned on. So I guess it's shutting off to pr protect the battery, but let's see, are you gonna do it? Yes, please. This display is actually completely off before you touch it. So just like that, cool. And then it will set the car into cool down the car, set it at warm. So you don't have to adjust everything. I'm talking about the heated seats and ventilated seats, but this is all possible at a tap of your finger. I think it's really explanatory. I'll use that in summer, winter, and just the normal time. I'm talking about autumn and whatnot. And this is the clean. So I'm talking about purification of the car within. This is actually the remote wireless charging pad. You don't have to actually set it at the perfect position, but just uh, leave it around somewhere here and it will recognize. Once again, let me shut that off. So it's off. Just throw it it's anywhere. It's going to recognize it right away. Definitely an up upgrade from the previous wireless charging pads. The C ports at just the charging alone or that is also the data. So that is probably the Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay. Oh, so this is a button. You could actually press it and the color will change accordingly so you know which mode it's in. This is my first time ever in this car. So I did not do any study or research on this before, but it's really, really direct and self-explanatory and intuitive. The ultraviolet lights so you can sanitize your phones, glasses, and stuff like that. Glove box, a good old drop-down type and we can see the calligraphy is written over there. The middle is a hidden cup holder. We've seen this on other Hyundai Motor Group cars, but just spin it around. You have the entire storage like so, and push it to get the cup holders. And also close it. You have this gigantic, gigantic storage on top. And that's 
I'm not even talking about the armrest here, but I love the work that they have done. I love massive storages and center tunnels. The buttons for the passenger seat as well. And this car, as much as this car is driver centric, Granger also aims to be a chauffeur driven car as well here in Korea. So let me show you the second row seats. This Granger. In Korea, this car is often used as chauffeur-driven car because it's not just for the owners alone. Right away, the biggest difference is now the Granger, and I'm talking about here, Hyundai, gets this cushion on the headrest as well. Of course, it's color matched and it's really, really comfy. If you have tried it out from Genesis, you know exactly what this is, but this is not a four-seater. This is a five-seater, a family car, but this, oh, super tight. So this is also very luxurious and, oh, this is really comfortable. I mean, you really have to see for yourself. And that is the ski through that we saw from the trunk compartment. Snowboard, it's going to be quite tough if you actually do have wider board. So snowboard, I think it's going to be tough. So keep that in mind. So there is this rest button and just push off, press it down for a few seconds. You can probably hear the motor running, right? The rear second row seat, it actually tilts eight degrees to the back. This is really insane. Getting this on a Hyundai? It's not a Genesis. I mean, I keep saying this, but it's just insane. That being said, the driver's seat comes with ergo motion seat. So you know what that is if you already drive a Genesis. It's kind of, um, well, you have to try not to use this word, but it kind of gives you or massages you. So it doesn't really do that, but it relaxes your body and it does definitely help on your long highway drives. And this is the sunroof. I like how the shade only closes up to here first and of course you can just have the shades off and you can do the tilt wow and it tilts quite a lot so you could just tilt it and open it and the button he used here is quite, it feels really luxurious as well. It's really different. You have to touch it to feel it to yourself, but I love the black finish here as well. Nice suede feel all throughout. And the speakers here as well, the same thing that I've shown you from the second row seat as well, to cancel and better the NVH. The rear seat comes with a heated seats and ventilated seat as well. The same thing, we see the Bose premium sound system that's been integrated here. The dual press window. This is the design cue once again from the first generation Granger. Not that many people are around the car now. And that is the color. And I'll be throwing it up the exact name up here and also check out on the description below to find out further about the detail. And I haven't had the chance to go through underneath the bonnet and the hood, but this car comes in three variants, 2.5, 3.5, and a hybrid with 1.6 turbo. And 1.6 turbo hybrid is the only car that does not get the all wheel drive, but instead that 1.6 turbo gets the what's called E-Motion. It was introduced on Kia Sportage hybrid before, but they would actually use the motor too to cancel out the movement. I'm talking about the pitching of the car so when it goes over the speed bump that will use the motor accordingly to cancel out to provide the best driving ride quality possible. So that's implemented on Granger as well. 1.6 turbo hybrid does not get all-wheel drive. The rest of the trims which there are three trims in total will be getting the all-wheel drive as well as your choice. So quickly this is underneath the hood and right here even on the strut we see that there is this some um, strut tower ring and that is the tech we've seen on ev6 gt as well so this is actually practical and it's actually functional and we see right here there is the uh, wiring for the ecs so the suspension is electronically controlled so you know that the ride quality is definitely a must and it's guaranteed on this hyundai granger all right so let's shut the bonnet down we are kind of done for the day and just look at the design overall just look at the hood and how massive this front fender is 
but the design, the character line, the curvature that's used on the side profile. Some people complain about the reverse lights and also the turn signals here, but well, I like it just as is. And even see how they got smart with the parting line right here that drops down like so, and also the curvature. There is of course the side repeater and with the emergency lights, Hyundai does not use the sequential lights but the whole thing actually lights up together like so. And I'll definitely be test driving this car and that is what this Hyundai Granger is all about to drive the comfortable ride, a chauffeur driven car adequately fit a flagship of Hyundai car. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea if you did and I'll see you in the next video.